Hey, it's been so long. I've missed you so much, but I'm back for a birthday special. It's my birthday today and the kids left. I did a little bit of work in the morning. I packed some orders. I'm going to go drop them off and I'm going through my wallet because I've been hoarding gift cards for the last couple of years. And I have this one, this one, this one says it has 50. It says the reader. Okay. I got these two with this beautiful um, birthday card signed by my friends and family. Oh, that is so sweet. So I have all of these gift cards and we're going to do some book shopping by myself. This is literally a dream. I haven't been to the bookstore by myself in ages. So we're going to go have fun together. Would you like to come with me? Just don't don't ask me when it's time to go. I say when it's time to go. Should I read this? Also, I made merch for author Lauren Asher and you should definitely check it out on her website. Okay, these are all the books I got. I got 14 of them. Three. just came in that I want to show you. What else? I had a little birthday sale so I have to pack all of those orders and I went to the bookstore all by myself on my birthday and I was there for like three hours and I got a bunch of stuff and maybe we could do a little book haul um, but other than that let's get to work there's a lot to do and I hope you're reading something good I read fantasy I don't read fantasy but I'll tell you all about that later but um, yeah let's get to work I have a bunch of new stickers I'm so so excited because I haven't made some new stickers in a really long time so we're going to start off with this one. It says, read more murder mysteries. I love it so much. Next one is, read more fantasy. It's so cute. This, oh, read more love stories. Cute. The next one is this book lover one. I made two different versions. I made a book lover and then I made a romance reader. Adorable. The next one is this Read Now audiobook version with a little cassette tape. Restocked this Endless TBR sticker. I can't keep it stocked. I feel like I'm selling so many of these and I love it. I love it. I revamped the happily reading my books and minding my business sticker. The old version looks like this. And this is the new version. Once I sell out of the old version, I'll stop selling it and then I'll only stock this one. I like this one so much more. This next one is this clear bookish one. Uh, the text is in white. Oh, you can kind of see it there. I restocked on this one finally. And is that all? No, it's not all. The last one is this Read Past Midnight sticker. Oh my god, I love the way it came out. It looks so nice. I love it. Yay! Yay for new products, finally. Finally.
I have so many books available on my Libby right now. Usually it's super dry or there's tons of books, which makes me so happy. Also, I read Fourth Wing. It was incredible. I, I have no words other than I had the best time. Um, and right now I'm listening to The Only One Left. I just came across the nicest message ever. How sweet is that? Jeez, that makes me so, like, that makes me smile so big. Thank you so much for leaving me this kind note. You can hear it in my voice, my <laughs> trying to keep it to the other voice. Thank you so much. So I just came across this order that says happy birthday to birthday too. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you too. I decided because I've made these cards ahead of time, I've decided to write her a birthday card. I hope she likes it. And then I put in a tiny little sticker. I really hope she likes it. And I really hope she's surprised even though our birthday already passed. So I'm going to pack her order. I've never included a card like this in an order. So the packaging is going to be interesting because I don't want it to get ruined. And of course, we're both cancers. Okay. So I'll put this here. It doesn't fit. The size of the card is a little bit larger than the backing cards and thank you cards that I usually use. And I don't want this to get bent in transit. But I feel like I might be able to make it work if I use a larger back. Let's see. We're experimenting together and we're going to figure it out together. I'll use one of these larger ones. And then I'll just layer these up here. Or I'll stack them. I don't even know. I'm not familiar with words anymore. Okay. It should. Okay, yes. Do this one. Cool. I really do hope that she's surprised. I don't expect to hear back anything, but I hope that she's pleasantly surprised when she opens this. Oh, that's so nice. Cute. Thank you, Shelby. Hope you like it. Happy birthday. Paper bag. Let's cover up some addresses. Here. 
And then this one, I didn't fill it up as much as I wanted to, but that's okay. I'm not going to shame myself. Very happy with my little progress. These are all the books I got. I got 14 of them. So the first two that I got, little mass paperbacks that are so cute. This is the first book in the series, and this is the second one. And they're so teeny tiny. I've read this author before. It was a different cozy mystery. I don't think I own a physical copy, but I liked it that much. And I got these two. And then the next one is this one here, All the Broken Girls by Linda Hurtado Bond. The next one is this beautiful little book. It's called A Most Agreeable Murder by Julia Seals. I've never read this author before, but this cover sold me. I ended up getting this one here. Never read this author either, but it looked good. It looks good. So I got it. Next is Alias Emma. And I remember reading, or somebody told me, and then I remember reading that uh, Christy Doherty is the author, but she writes under Ava Glass. And I'm very excited about this because I really loved that series by her that I read. I finally ended up getting this one. Mm. Yeah, I, I keep seeing it every time I go to the store. And some people replied to my story saying that it actually is really good. I didn't get it the other day. I ended up leaving it, but I got it today. I read this book sometime. I think it was last year or this year. I don't remember. But I liked it a lot. And I liked it so much that I wasn't sure if I already own it. But I wouldn't mind if I did not have another copy that I can force on someone else. But I don't think that I own this yet. Every time I go to the store, I see them and I want them. And I don't get them. Because I've never read this author before. I've never read... This is the first book in the series, I think. And I got two. So it better be good. I really hope it's good. The third book was there too. But it was in hardcover. So that one I did decide to leave. But... Look at how beautiful they are. I really hope they're good. The, the people in charge of designing the most beautiful book covers, you're doing your job. Oh, here's the, another one. The Secret Service of Tea and Treason. Also, I see this one every single time. Every single time I want to grab it. And then I have two more. If We Were Villains. I've had this on my TBR for years and years and years. And I finally decided to get it. And as I was walking out with my giant stack of books... I saw this basic version. Who even is she reading fantasy and then running to the store and buying it? But here's my little book haul. I am, I don't know how I got so behind, but I got behind on a wholesale order that's going to New York and I have to get it out now. So that's, I'm switching gears. We're doing wholesale. Wish me luck. I'm gonna need it.
too worried to think about the fact that she can't engage me when we're good and cold and listen. Besides, it's a child of my own This literally took me all day. Oh, I really earned my money today. This box is finally ready. It's going to New York. Thanks for hanging out with me. And I'll see you next time. I will do my very best to not go into hiding for weeks and weeks and months because I miss YouTube. Of course, if you have been here for a while, thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. I hope you're reading some something really good. I just started a new book, but I will tell you about that next time. Bye.